Welcome back, everyone. Toysh is here, and I am back yet again with yet another Target exclusive cartoon TMNT box set by NECA Toys this time around, featuring, and I'm sure I'm not alone on this one, everyone's favorite deep cut characters, <laughs> Chakahachi and Lotus Blossom. In case you don't get confused, this is, of course, Chakahachi, the ghost of Chakahachi, we'll say, and Lotus Blossom, right? The female Kunoich, right? Come on, you know who this is, right? Everybody knows at this point. Really nice photos of the figure. Here's a couple more on the way, right? Dirk Savage and Mona Lisa, Usagi and the others have been out. And here's everyone involved with the creation of these two figures. So, as, as always, thank you very much. I love this line. And here's the barcode as well. And like I said, you can go ahead and pick it up from old Tarjay. Now, for this particular set, I'm not going to lie. I'm going to have to deep dive into my complete classic series collection of the Ninja Turtles cartoon. I know who Lotus Blossom is. We're going to do a little research on Chakahachi. But for Lotus, you could just say uh, one day, I mean, out of the blue, really, it, despite all the episodes that came before, Krang just up and goes, Shredder, you're fired, and uh, I hired Lotus Blossom to take your place. And she promptly beats him up and takes over and starts working for Krang. Whatever, right? And then goes as far as to steal the thing that's called the scent analyzer, in case you were wondering what the hose with the nose on it is, and just tracks down the Ninja Turtles lair. Like, it's a piece of cake. Shredder has had all this time and all these means to do the same exact thing, and, I mean, she just finds it. No problemo. They end up capturing Splinter, a bunch of rigmarole. She actually kind of develops a thing for Leonardo. She also beats him up. And uh, leaves a lotus blossom flower, right? That's where that comes from. And then they kind of just go their separate ways. Also, she breaks into the sewer layer again and drops off a pizza they don't know. I don't know. The show is bonkers, right? We all know this by now. But you know what's not bonkers? Two new action figures for your collection. So sit back, relax, grab yourself a nice hot cup of coffee. This is a look at the brand new Target exclusive, the cartoon at TMNT Ninja Turtles set, Chakachi and Lotus Blossom by NECA Toys. And while I got all you ghosts of ancient feudal Japan here, I just want to say thanks so much for always checking out my YouTube videos. If you haven't already, please do consider subscribing. Old toys, new toys, daily news updates. I guarantee you'll find something here that you like. Now, these uh, two figures we got going on, right? As in usual, NECA Toys fashion. They come with a host of accessories, all very specific to the cartoon show, which I love. So in the case of Chakahachi, eh, you're going to have a couple energy effects. And this really does work best for him. You got a bit of a fire effect. You got a fireball kind of effect. And he does come with the correct hands, which they just kind of nestle on top. They don't peg in anywhere. They do include a little bit of paint every which way. It just emphasizes the whole pink energy ball, pink energy flame. And then he has basically... An energy effect, fire effect, which kind of spirals over his arm. And to be honest with you, in looking at the cartoon episode and then in looking at the figure, yeah, you can recreate Farewell Lotus Blossom. That's the name of the episode. Pretty darn good. And again, as I've said over and over, that is the absolute beauty of this line. They know exactly what they're doing, and the effect really does work. It's a little gummy right there. It totally fits over his arm. He does come with some extra hands, right? So you got fisted hand, open hand. He's got weapon item holding hands. So it works. You get a nice selection of hands. And then you get two different swords, and you got like a mini sword, mini blade kind of deal. Again, nice paint overall. And he does hold both. They look good. Just... I'm just going to say, be careful with the blades and the swords, even on anything. You know what I mean? They get really small. You don't want to snap anything. With Chakahachi himself, the one thing I want to point out immediately is that you would probably benefit from heating these figures up, especially in the legs. The arms, you're pretty much solid. The head, the waist, everything pretty much moves. Maybe go a little bit easy on the elbows. But the paint is there. It's got that really nice cell shaded dual tone look. And they did, of course, a great job. And that's what I mean about this line is here's a character basically just had one episode, one episode appearance, and they did a solid job. Now, right here on his belt, you can see these two yellow loops 
My advice is to heat these up as well. Just take a measuring cup full of hot water and just slowly pour it over each one. Then take the sheath, slip it through, and you're golden. And they hold really nicely. And then that way, you can fit in the various swords and knives. And they do slide in beautifully. So there you go. You have a nice solid figure. Tried and true to the cartoon. Again, the colors look great. It's just... It's a very obscure character, but it totally works. The articulation is what you would expect from the Cartoon Ninja Turtle line. Again, to stress enough, heat this guy up. The legs themselves, around the crotch and groin area, you know, they'll be fine. But it's really around the knees where it's very stuck. I can't get this one piece to swivel properly, you know what I mean? Just to kind of get it going. The feet, pretty solid. He stands nicely, looks good, hands... This little piece right here, go very easy. It's on a little bit of a hinge, and it works in the sense of when you start moving this arm around, it works with you. It has a little give, but you don't want to inadvertently snap it back because that could probably happen. The head is pretty solid. Also, be careful with this little ponytail thing at the top right here. It, you don't want that snapping off, breaking off. Just stand them nicely on your shelf. Maybe get a little standy for them, but other than that... Pretty solid Chakahachi, right? Now, over on Lotus Blossom's end, she does come with a sword as well. Nice brown paint, nice black line work to emphasize the cartoon look, and she holds it quite nicely. So you get that whole look straight from the cartoon show. Well done, looks great. Go very easy with this blade as well. You don't want to snap anything, break anything. Yes, she does come with the scent analyzer. They went above and beyond for this thing. All the paint for days, red buttons, white buttons, a little bit of an emphasis of the black line work for all the vents and everything else. Solid. There's a big nose on a hose, right? And she does hold it well. And this is just meant to show a little bit more scaling, right? So all of you out there don't go, hey, where's the scaleture on this? Well, she scales very nicely. She's a smaller female figure. So there you go. I do wish that this kind of moved, maybe a bendy wire or something like that. Just go easy on it. You don't want to knock it wrong, have it fall, yada, yada. Now she does come with an extra head portrait. This one is her masked first appearance look when Krang hires her. For the life of me, I cannot swap the heads. I've heated them up. I can't get the heads off for whatever reason. Then you have a nice bow and arrow set. And again, this is straight from the cartoon. You get a really nice string bow right there. A little paint, little black line work emphasizes. Don't pull the bow too hard. Just telling you right now, there's no place for the arrow to really go. It's just meant to hold and kind of do it that way. There's no little peg, nothing like that. She comes with extra hands, item holding hands, Lotus Blossom holding hands, which is always nice. She can hold a sword in either hand, which is very cool as well. And she does come with the Lotus Blossom. And I got to tell you, I think out of all the different accessories, minus the sword and whatnot, that looks the best. Really nice paint overall. And the hands, this, you'll see a little hole in them, are specifically designated to hold the flower. So that's very cool indeed. Again, be very careful. These little pieces don't snap anything now with lotus herself it's a pretty solid looking figure again much like the ghost of chakahachi right it's just very much a one-off character well we'll say two off for lotus blossom lotus you can call her either one but uh, yeah they do emphasize her name is lotus blossom nice hair a little bit of a rubbery piece right there you don't have to worry about that on the back side much like chakahachi as well take a little cup of hot water kind of Dump it over the back right there, and then that will rubberize it enough to slip in the brown sheath. Make sure you do it the right way. A little tab on that one side will slide in your back, and you can slide in the sword, and you're good to go. And it looks good. The hair will hinder that just a little bit when trying to move it around because the sword and the sheath will then knock into her big flowing locks right there. But kind of moving around, you can, you can figure it out. It doesn't hinder it too much much she's got double jointed elbows her arms move her hands move again it's a typical articulation you expect from a NECA toys cartoon tmnt figure but i gotta tell you with the legs and everything else the one part pieces that i can't move on top of swapping your head her double jointed knees right here do not want to bend they get a little gummy when you dump in the hot water but then they only moved a little bit but at least they're frozen or stuck in this position so i can move her around she's got some really cool 90s robin feet right there and they will rock they'll go up and down no problems there nothing i had to heat up but just i can't emphasize enough over and over with these 
Really nice looking figures, just heat them up when you want to move them around. Now, in terms of scalature for the figures, just in talking about Chakahachi himself, but I don't know much about Chakahachi, you'd say. One would look at this and say, well, yeah, I think that's a decent height. Well, he's about this size for about two seconds in that episode he appears. More often than not, he's about the size of Godzilla, and he turns... New York into feudal Japan, basically. However, if you have the Super Impulse Turtles, the world's smallest, that actually works really solid. So this particular character is enormous. But again, as I'll say, for about all of a split second, he returns to about normal human form. It doesn't matter. It's a one-off character. The one you really have to worry about is Lotus Blossom here. And I think that, again, she fits nicely. She's like a smidge taller than Leonardo, but she's a lot shorter than Shredder. Totally works. And here she is with a bunch of other female characters. So it's nice to see more female characters in the line. Tempestra. Hopefully she's not too far off, right? Wink, wink. So that will wrap it up for my look at the brand new NECA Toys, the Target exclusive cartoon at TMNT figures. Chakahachi and Lotus Blossom and I want to say a special thank you to everyone for watching my video I hope you all enjoyed it and had a nice look at all the awesome Ninja Turtle figures in my collection But if you're not I'll have plenty more for 2023 Here's to a great year for TMNT You've heard my thoughts now and I'm curious to know yours comment below let me know let's talk everything cartoon turtles and I'm going to leave you guys with that. As always, drink some great coffee, eat some great food, but most importantly, remember, keep on deep diving. Let's see what characters we can pull from that old cartoon show. And when you do, let me know what you found. I'll talk to you guys soon. Adios.